welcome back to my channel and welcome to another three minute book review. As I mentioned in my last video, I had a couple of months off from filming, things were really, really busy. And as I'm sure we're all finding now, things are a lot quieter. During that time, I read how many books? Probably four or five books. So I thought that I would basically start to film my reviews of those books. The book that I'm going to be chatting about today is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. If you've seen any of my other book reviews, you'll know that this is quite an odd choice for me. So I saw this book reviewed on, I think it was Zoella or Zoe Sugg. Um, I think I saw it on her book club um, and it got such amazing reviews. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. I've got to say that this is probably one of the most confusing and complex books I have ever read. Now, let me just put it out there. When I say I have ever read, I did not finish this and I hate to admit that. I think in the last 10 years, I have probably given up on only two, maybe three books max. I absolutely hate giving up on something. Um, but I've got to say that I got, I think it was about 60, 65% of the way through this book and just thought, I can't do it anymore. I'm not enjoying it. It feels like a slog. I'm having to concentrate. Um, no, it, it was just, it was not for me. The plot is really intricate. You really need to keep your head in this book. As soon as you open the book, you get an idea that this isn't going to be an easy read. The first kind of proper page you get to has a a map and a layout of the house of where the book is set. We then also have a double page spread of basically the invitees of the masquerade ball. Now immediately I was like, oh God, there's gonna be a lot of people that I have to remember in this book. It actually reminded me a little bit of Cluedo. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna be Mrs. White in the pantry with the rolling pin. Are those even, I mean, I don't, I don't even know if those are things that you get in Cluedo, have I just completely made that up? So the story begins with a man who learns that he is trapped inside the body of someone else. And a masked figure appears and basically tells him that he needs to solve a murder mystery. So he will live the day of the murder eight times each in the body of a different character that is attending the ball. If he doesn't solve the mystery, he basically starts all over again at day one with his memory completely wiped, which it turns out he has done numerous times. Yeah, 65% of the way through, and then I thought, it's too much of a slog. I, I just, there's no point in this. I'm not enjoying it. Um, I, I guess I really wanted to carry on because I wanted to find out who murdered Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, but I thought, actually, I'm just gonna have a look at the reviews on Goodreads and, and see what they say. And even then, I've got to be honest, it the ending was quite confusing. I am gonna score this book five out of 10, I think. Uh, it is very well written. And to be honest, the beginning, it really does pique your interest. You want to keep going with it. But as that story does keep going, it becomes more complicated, more complex. You need to keep that story in your mind. And for me, that was just, it was just too much. Anyway, that is my, I've said three minutes. It's gonna be pretty difficult to get this in under three minutes, but anyway, I'm gonna try. That was my book review of The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hartcastle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please press that little red button just one of these corners. Um, I am aiming to get to 475 by the end of May. Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you again back here next week while I have another video for you. Take care, bye!